What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now this time we are fighting dine he is weak to fire and he does mostly lightning damage but this is a solo fight with Barrett, which means it can be a little tricky on hard mode. Just make sure you have lightning plus elemental on your armor and bring your strongest fire spells. Also make sure you have chakra equipped to heal in those tight spots whenever you are down on your health. And make sure you make the mo most of lifesaver and steel skin skills to increase Barrett's maximum HP. And use turbulent spirit and bonus rounds to stagger him quickly and build up your ATB fast as well. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Hell, Marlene. Is that a place for Barrett? Yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Dine. What happened to you? Though, come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. 
But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't no. like that <laughs> <laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. It's over. 
over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! <sighs> then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me? Huh? I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! <laughs> what? No wise words? Coward! When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Just turned four. She's in Midgar. <sighs> Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, She's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew. And still, you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. We could go see Marlene right now. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop. 
With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Thank you.